Hey everybody, <clears throat> welcome back to another episode of Nova Factory and GTCEU Hard Mode. Okay, so here we are today, episode 103, and let me get rid of that waypoint right there. Okay, okay, so before I get started in anything else, uh, I just want to say that I looked into upgrading the pack. Hold on. And I tried to upgrade at 1.6, however, there is an issue with black steel. And I can't even seem to make it. Uh, I think I wasn't able to make it, but essentially there's some weirdness going on with black steel, both, of the, I think both with the mixer itself and the ABS. Hmm. Gosh, I got hiccups. Um, so I'm going to hold off on upgrading for a bit it's because if there's an issue, then there's probably more issues and I don't want really want to chance it right now. All right, so that being said, last episode, we were mostly working on the Tier 7 Micro Miner, and we sent off a mission. We got the hearts, and I think I opened up the inventory, or opened up, I grabbed the hearts out of the inventory, and so that quest is now unlocked. So that makes the way, paves the way for the Awakened Draconium. Um, but first, we, we really should get into Captain K, right? So this is going to be, a, I think, a somewhat involved chain, probably not too bad, but... We're going to start off with the dust here, right? So we need these dust, and we're going to need a lot of them. Oh, my gosh, there's a dog barking outside. Uh, anyway, so there's pyro, pyromolytic dianhydride and 4,4-oxidiline, oxidiline. I don't know. Anyway, so there's an LCR that we're going to need, and thankfully the saltpeter is not used up. Nor is the dimethyl form dimethyl formamide dimethyl formamide. I don't know. Anyway, so I think we have uh, obviously these two. Well, we have water at least. I know we have this, but we don't have this, so we need to make that too. Okay, so I think I actually requested an LCR off camera, as you can see right here, uh, in preparation for today. So let's go and find a place to set this up then, shall we? I think we might have to bump the wall out again. Okay. What was that? Oh, okay. I thought I saw a weird texture bug going on. All right, so let's grab a, let's grab some stone. Okay, I don't know. I thought for a second it put the inventory back into the AE2 system. Uh, okay, so let's do like, let's see, there, there. Okay, so boom. Boom. Uh, input, actually do like that. And then boom, boom. Okay. Then for the back side, we need the hatch. We'll put that there. And I might as well just put the converter underneath it. No need for the no need for the wire really. Alright, and then next oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Um I think I made that too small. No, that's the hatch. Okay, never mind. Uh da -da -da -da. Oh, right. Okay, we forgot about the uh, coil. Okay, that is formed. Good. Okay, so that's good to go. Let's set this up. So we're not going to be able to get this going right now because we still have to take care of the other fluids. So that's the input. That's the output. All right. So we're going to need a, <clears throat> we're going to need a regulator. I think we could do a medium voltage just fine. I don't think we need any items for this. I think it was... Oh, we do need the item output, though. Let's go with the HV, why not? Okay, so that's the input. So we get that in there. And we're going to need a filter. 
Okay. So where was I again? Okay, water, two nitrochlorine. Four, okay, that was easy. Okay, so for that we need, okay, one, 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 okay, easy. And bada boom, okay. So then for the face, boom. And boom. Oops, I need it. There we go. Okay, so what's the situation with our cables? There we go. And okay, we're gonna need more cable. No problem. Um, okay. And then boom and boom. Okay, so that did I already? I thought I already made this, or I thought I didn't make this yet. But I guess we do have it. Okay. Um, as far as this fluid, we're gonna need nitrobenzene and hydrogen. So that's pretty simple. Uh, okay. So I think I have a reactor made. Yep, I got a couple made in preparation for this. Um, do I have a teleport around here? I do. Not that. There. I should really just change to my advanced dislocator now at this point. Um, do I have a free slot? Yeah, I guess I'll put this one right there. Okay, so we're going to need a controller. We don't want to make too much of this stuff. I'm going to make at least 10 of these so that we can grab from them as we do things. That was not what I wanted. Okay. Emitter. And because we're going to need more, I'll just ask for more. And I know we requested, we, we, we requested cables, so let's get that hooked up. Okay, so then for this, we're going to say, like, I don't know, 64 buckets. All right. So we need to go get some more regulators. And we're going to need some interfaces. Okay. So for this, and we need a filter. And for this, we're going to need one part nitrobenzene, four parts hydrogen. Exact. Nitroben. Okay. And then boom, boom. Oh, wrong. Boom. Okay. So that is good. Now we see the circuit. Actually, do I don't. Okay, we do in the circuit. For a second there, I thought we had the feature where you can get a, we can put a ghost circuit in there, but I think that's what I was remembering from 1 6. Is that the right configuration? No, it's a one. Okay. There we go. So we did get water back too, and then I need to silence that. Where's my hammer? Okay. So we're getting that amino aminophenol, and we need to eject this stuff. Okay. So it's gonna stick that aminophenol there, but let's go ahead. And I think I set up some tanks for this in, in advance. No, I think I requested tanks though. Tank, yeah, there we go. Bus. Okay, so boom, boom, and then boom, boom, boom. And lock. All right. And then. 
So the amino um, amino phenol is being made. So now we should be able to go back over to our LCR. I really need to get teleporters going or my teleporter dislocator. Okay, so that has all the fluids now, but I think it's missing something. Oh, right, the saltpeter. Okay, we did need the input bus. But nothing big, anyway. Input bus. So, uh, yeah, there we go. And then the saltpeter. We have so much. I'll just put this right here. And boom. Okay, what's missing now? Oh, we need di dimethylformin. Yeah. Okay. Dimethyl. So we don't have that yet. That is dimethylamine and carbon monoxide. We should have that. We should be able to make that rather than a problem. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that doesn't get used up, right? Oh, yeah, we just need like a single mill bucket of it. But does it get used for anything else? It doesn't appear so. Okay, so we don't really even need to make so too much of this. Let's just go dimethyl, uh, not side it, dimethyl. So we need a bucket of dimethyl bucket. Dimeth, dimethylamine, there we go. And monoxide, carbon monoxide, there we go. Not wrong. Okay. And then we'll pop back over. Wrong way. I just need a single block. There we go. So boom and boom and boom and boom. Wait, did I screw up here? Okay, it needs a large chemical reactor. Um, okay. Is there one that I can borrow? I don't... Wait. I think so. Okay, I'm just going to do it like this. Let's grab quadruple input. Is there an output hatch? Okay, so let me pause here and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. All right, so I made the fluid right here. As you can see, I put the input and output hatch here. So now we have our dimethyl, whatever the heck it is. Let's go back to our LCR here. And there we go. And it's still missing power. Oh, yeah, of course. Okay, no problem. Uh, though before we power that up, let's take a look at something here. Here, So, the wrong item. We're making dust, right? And that's the dust right here. So we want to control how much we get of that. Okay, so let's get a controller. I know we made some. Then we'll get the emitters for items. Go ahead and make more of that. Okay. Da, 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 da. Okay, and then for that, before. Okay, 
So that should be good. Now we just need to power this bad boy up. If I can get down there. Okay. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Do it. Conduit, conduit, conduit. Here, conduit. No, wrong conduit. It just dawned on me that I'm going to have to do the conduit replacement one more time. There we go. When we get to um, superconductor, I forget what it's called. Um, but yeah. Okay, so let's get that. There we go. Okay, so there we go. That is working. So. There is that. That only takes 10 seconds. Okay, so for part two of this, we need this. Okay, so that's going to be... All right, so we're going to need to make during. And that's going to require these two fluids here. Okay, so let's... Oh, I should have... Hold on, let me go back. Bookmark that. And bookmark those two. Okay. Now, for the fluids, we are going to need chloromethane, which I don't think we have. We have chloroform, but not methane. And then dimethylbenzene. Dimethylbenzene. Okay, we have that. Okay, so all we need is this, the chloromethane, which is methane and chlorine. And we should have a great deal of both methane and chlorine. Good. Okay. So let's go back to my towers of the... Uh, oh. I think it was right here. No. Uh, where was it? I'll give me a second here. Okay. Um, that was it. All right. So now we're going to need... Oh, not that. We're going to need a regulator. Regulator. And we're going to need some more interfaces. Okay. So, boom. And import, keep exact. Okay, so for chloromethane, we need two parts chlorine, one part methane. Methane. And boom. Boom and boom. Okay. So let's get circuit. Let's just request up a lot of these because why not? All right. So for the chloromethane, we need configuration three. Okay. So that's good to go. Um, Regulator, regulator. No, uh, controller. And emitter. Did I not grab more emitters? Okay, I guess not. Emitter. Uh, that was pointless. Okay. Chloromethane. And, oh, we get HCl from that. That's neat. Okay. So let's go back to our home. We're not making, we're not storing the methane yet, are we? No, okay. Wait. No, okay. That's what I thought. So let's pop down here. And chloromethane. Look that up, and bada boom, there we go. Okay. So we should have the chloromethane now, and we want to react that with dimethylbenzene to get our during, right? Yeah, okay, reactor. Okay. Question is, do I have any more spots? Or I need to make another tower? Okay, we're good. 
Okay, so once more with feeling, let's get a regulator. In for keep ex keep exact. Uh, dimethyl benzene, dimethyl. There we go. Chloromethane. All right, and that's going to be a one to one ratio. And there we go. So we are going to need to output fluid as well as the items. So we might have to sacrifice a slot. on our tower here. Okay. And then as for this, we want boom. That is the fluid variant. We don't want that. And then boom. And then bada boom. So let's go like 120. Why not? Okay, uh, we, we need an interface for that. Where is my wrench? Okay. Actually, no, we'll keep that on. Uh, da, da, da. IV during out. There we go. Okay, so we have the during now. Now we need to react this with oxygen, and we have that, which we only need one more reaction. Well, craft, I guess. Okay, so chemical reactor, and then we're going to need the alloy smelter. Although... Is Captain K... What is Captain K used for exactly? The wetware, right? But what does Captain K come in handy for? Precisely, is it the bore? Oh, okay, so we do need solids, okay. So, yeah, I guess we can just leave this up to a craft. Don't we have... Yeah, we can just do alloy here. Okay. Um, then forget the alloy smelter. We just need the reactor. Okay, so we're going to need another regulator. And then we'll pop back over to our towers area. And do we have a free slot or are we gonna need to make another tower? Is there anywhere that has this open slot? Mind you making the tower? Is there, I don't think there's any machine that I'm not using right now, am I? Actually, I don't think this is being used for anything, so let's get rid of this. All right, so there we go. Uh, regulator. You don't need to specify the fluid type actually here, so we'll just keep that on a number. Yeah. There we go. Uh, e gen. Let's see, Alex. Gen. Okay. Okay, so then for this, we need a robot arm. Arm, arm, arm. And put the bucket away. Okay. So, the do 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 import. How much derby do we need? 12. Too far. Okay. Base. Oh, I don't need that. Uh, da, 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 
during. Wait a minute. Um, let's see if I can do like this. Because I realized we are outputting a fluid as well, and we need to handle that. I might need to pause the episode so I can get the Captain K before we end. But if that has to be the case, I will let you all know. Okay, so if I... And then... I think I'm going to have to get into here, break this off. Right? Um... Okay. Boom. And then we need to reorient the wire. And just the converter. Okay, um, good. Okay, water's gone. Nice. So all we need to do now is eject the output. Base. Okay, so that is now giving us our dust that we need. So let's go ahead and get that controlled. So... Did I put the... There it is. Okay, so boom, boom. And then here... Was it pyro? There we go. Okay, so that is making our dust. Let's go back. Actually, before I do anything else... Um... Pyro-melitic. Okay. All right. So now, Captain K. Bada boom. Oh, we need more of that, don't we? Uh, hold on. Do we? Oh, right, because I made so little of that. Okay. Uh, let me adjust this. Okay. So that way we'll get more. Okay, so I mean, we could just get one here and then I'll put that up for the thumbnail. Yay, Captain K. Okay. Ha. Huh. So many Ks there. Awesome. So that will pave the... Oh, we need one more thing. Oh, I did, 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 did. Sterilized growth medium. Mutagen. Oh, I think we need to get Tritanium first before we get to that. Okay. Wait a minute. Let's see here. Um, back. Bacteria and sterilized growth medium. Bacteria can be made that the growth medium, calcium salt, mince meat, agar. 
Uh, is that growth medium? Is meat for what's You need to mix minced meat, calcium, salt, agar with water in a mixer to make raw growth medium. Use a fluid heater. This is a significantly more involved process. Mince meat comes from pulverizing any kind of meat. A powered spawner might be useful for this endeavor. Agar is produced from mince meat through multiple steps. Woo! Okay, so we got gelatin. We got gelatin mixture. We got phosphorus. Uh, collagen. Okay, so it ends there at mince meat and bone meal. Meal. Calcium could be turned into that. Do we have a lot of calcium? All right, we got some calcium, that's for sure. All right, well, we got a road ahead of us for sterilized growth medium, medium that is. Um, I'm just got to figure out how to tackle this because the next we're probably going to be needing a chicken spawner or something like that, which means we need a powered spawner. So that'll probably be something we start on next episode. But for now, we have the Captain K out of the way. So that is good. All right, so I hope you guys did enjoy. I will see you all next time. Ta-ta for now.